Okay, today we're going to talk about the ventral cavities, ventral being on the front side of the body or the anterior side of the body. Um, you have what's known as the thoracic cavity, and that is this cavity that sits above this dome-shaped muscle here called the diaphragm. So this is your diaphragm, and that kind of separates out your thoracic cavity from your abdominopelvic cavity. So let's start first and see what we find in our thoracic cavity. Well, obviously you're going to have what I'm holding in my hand here, a lung. You've got two lungs. You have a right lung and a left lung. Remember when you're looking at models, the model's right is this way, but when you're looking at it, it looks like it's on the left. So you're always looking opposite when you're naming things on a model. So this would be the right lung, this would be the left lung. Just be sure you do that when you're naming things on your uh, lab stuff. Um, but anyway, so you have two lungs. You have a right and a left lung. And each one of these lungs sits inside of a smaller cavity known as the pleural cavity. So you have a right lung which sits inside a pleural cavity, right pleural cavity. You have a left lung which sits inside a left pleural cavity. Then you have another cavity here that surrounds the heart. That's going to be known as the pericardial cavity. Inside the pericardial cavity, you're going to have the heart. And then just above the pericardial cavity and in between the two pleural cavities, you have a cavity known as the mediastinum. In the mediastinum, you're going to have all these vessels coming off the heart. You've got this big red one that comes out. Um, that's the, the main artery that comes off the heart. Remember, an artery is going to carry blood away from the heart. A vein, these blue ones right here, are going to carry blood back towards the heart. But we'll get into all that later. Um, but you have the aorta, which is your main artery, and then you've got your uh, superior vena cava coming in here. This is actually a, um, an artery right here, so don't go with blues and reds and go, oh, all arteries are red and all are blue. We'll get into more of this in detail later on, but um, for right now, just know that this big curved one coming off the top is going to be your aorta, and then this is your superior vena cava, which is bringing blood back to your heart. But in this mediastinum, you're also going to have the trachea, which is commonly known as the windpipe. The trachea is going to bring air from both your nasal cavity and your uh, oral cavity. It's going to go down this windpipe, and you can always feel it right in the front of your throat because it has little ridges. Those are cartilage rings, and you need that cartilage because you want to make sure that that windpipe or trachea always stays open. You never want your trachea to collapse or then you'd have trouble breathing. So you have this cartilage, these cartilaginous rings that keep it hold, hold it open so that it doesn't collapse. Then behind the trachea, which and we were talking about something that's behind, that would be, <laughs> I'd stop and think, posterior. Um, so if something is behind something, it would be posterior. You're going to have another tube, this tube right here. That's the esophagus. The esophagus is going to be the tube that brings food and drink from your mouth all the way down and then it's going to go into the stomach that sits right here like this. So the, 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 the esophagus runs food from your mouth all the way down to the top of your stomach. So that's that tube and remember that the esophagus is posterior to the trachea and you can always tell the trachea because it has those cartilaginous rings which maintain its uh, integrity to keep it open so you never want it to collapse. Um, also, notice that this trachea is going to split, and when you get right down here, it comes down and then it splits into two main divisions. We call each one of these a bronchus. You have a primary bronchus on the right and a primary bronchus on the left. Together, you would call those bronchi. And then each one of these bronchus, bronchi is going to split into smaller and smaller uh, divisions that go all throughout the lung. They're just kind of fingers that split up there like a tree going all throughout the lungs so that you're delivering gases and picking up gases from all parts of the lungs. These are going to be known as your bronchioles. You have secondary and tertiary bronchioles, and we're not going to get you to name all those right now, but just know you have the trachea, then you have the right primary bronchus, the left primary bronchus, and then all the different bronchioles or branches of these bronchi. And then behind the trachea, or inferior, excuse me, <laughs> posterior to the trachea, you have the esophagus, which is that food pipe that brings food and uh, liquids down from your mouth all the way down to your stomach, which sits right here. And those are going to be the cavities in your thoracic cavity. So you have the thoracic cavity above the diaphragm, you have the two pleural cavities that hold the lungs, 
and then you have the pericardial cavity, which holds the heart, and then you have the mediastinum, which holds the bronchi, or excuse me, the trachea, the esophagus on the back side, um, the bronchi are kind of behind that, and then you've got some of the major vessels coming off the heart, the aorta and the superior vena cava, and that's it.